Thanks for tuning in for another D6 Pack 3D design. Today I'm going to be showing you my design for a Baron Park insert. This is designed to fit the Bad News Bears expansion as well as uh, some 3D printed bear statue upgrades. So I'll show you those as we go through this, but uh, if you're interested in picking up the design for this. It is available on Thingiverse. I will put a link to that model in the comments below. And with that, let me switch my camera around and show you what I made. So there is a little bit in the base box as well. You do need both to hold the expansions as well as the bear statue upgrades, but um, I'm gonna show you the expansion box first, or the base box first, and then I'll go into the expansion. So there were some things that I put in here just as fillers to kind of make things level. And in my version here, I kind of messed up the height of some of the stuff, but in the model that's available on Thingiverse, that's been fixed. But even in this copy, the height level change wasn't significant enough to affect any of the pieces shifting around, so I just kept the model that I printed first. So um, on top here, this is just a filler, and then the board fits on top, and then underneath you have trays for your cement truck bears, uh, some of the gold tiles, there's more trays further down, and then the bear statues for the base game, and bear statues for the expansion along with the monorail tiles. This is designed to be functional as well, so you can take this tray out and all of your cement tiles just stay there. You can pull them up easily enough from the side, and you don't necessarily even have to use the board because this now marks where your cement trucks are. So if you do want to use the board, you could just keep that and put it on top of the board, or you can take them out however you find the easiest. Then we have stacks for the park terrain tiles and the wheelbarrow tiles, and then more of the goal tiles there. And again, this is designed the same way. The bear tile, or bear statue tray is designed in two parts. So the upper part is mostly to even things out and keep the bears from shifting around during storage. But during gameplay, you can take that off and the bears are visible that way. And this can just be used to display the bears that are still available. The model does have higher pegs. Uh, when I tried to get my top part on it, they snapped off, but it ended up being okay because they, those small peg heights still kind of hold this on. So I'm not entirely disappointed with how that came out. The train tiles have a filler at the front of them. This has no function but it evens out things and keeps the tiles from shifting around in the box during storage. And all of the tiles stack there, the base game terrain tiles, the park exit tiles from the expansion, and the park entrance from the base game. There are two more of the goal tile trays. So there's a total of uh, 16 of these so you've got 12 of them here and then four in that little tile or tray I showed you earlier and then in the bottom of the box is your excavator trays so I don't have a very large 3d printer so I had to print these in two pieces in order to have them work out um, but they fit nicely in the bottom of the box still and they're designed to have these holes so that you can pull them out easily enough. And again, they're designed to replace the board essentially. So that is it for the base box. And there's just a couple of things in the expansion box that I wanna show you. 
So let me bring that over here. The only things that are in here are the monorail towers uh, or supports and then the grizzly tiles. The grizzly tiles don't take up the other half of the box, um, but there are three of those tiles. Again, I had to do that because that's as large as my printer bed could print. Um, and then below there is just sort of a filler. So if there were more expansions for this game, you could put those down here, or if you had other upgrades for the game that you wanted, that could take up space underneath here. You don't necessarily have to use this. The grizzly trays could just easily be stacked underneath or on the bottom of the box, and then you'd have space on top for uh, your own inserts for whatever upgrades or other tiles you've added to the game. So that's it for the Baron Park insert. Um, I designed it to be functional both for storage and for gameplay. Um, I think it is going to make things quicker for setup as well as facilitating like looking through tiles and stuff. So um, I think this one will work out well. I'm excited to actually get to use it and I hope that you've enjoyed this as well. Uh, let me know what your thoughts on the insert are and reach out to us on our social media at the Six Pack Podcast on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, and Twitch. And again, if you want a copy of this model, it is available on Thingiverse. There will be a link to that in the comments below. Thanks for watching. Bye.